you're watching The Daily Decrypt. Your currency competition is now served. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. There is money to be made in the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies, and many like to hedge the fluctuating value of various cryptos with fiat, like the U.S. dollar. But selling in and out of actual dollars is often both arduous and expensive. Today we've spoken with Alejandro Colorado, Alex for short, a Daily Decrypt viewer we met at a Bitcoin conference in Mexico City. There, he told us that information he had found via the Daily Decrypt had helped him develop a trading strategy using fiat-pegged cryptocurrencies to hedge volatility. Here's how he does it. I'm not like a serious, like a long experienced trader, Wall Street guy that just found like altcoins being the new the new rush. Uh, I, in, but at the same time, it's not really that hard to understand like, well, the market goes up, Bitcoin goes up, somewhere something will go down and you can actually buy in and when they goes back up, you will make money. So, um, so I started, of course, just basically hedging Bitcoins from dollars to Bitcoin. My first uh, website that I was trying to do that was um, was um, Uphold, um, which they rebrand uh, some uh, sometimes. So I don't really, I think Uphold right now is the name. It used to be Bit Reserve, uh, and I used to do a fiat to Bitcoin. Uh, okay. Later, I found other markets like the gold market, in which case there's another website about Toro, and I was doing hedging. But it was always like this thing, like, well, I'm going jumping in and out of crypto, and it would be great. And I get the feeling that the the, the commissions uh, were too high, so because well, you have to, you know, you're, you're getting into a fiat currency uh, that needs to be backed up somehow officially and. And the whole thing looks complex, and it would be great if you can just do it crypto to crypto, because mm-hmm. I only I'm only interested on the on the value on the on the valuation of the of the of the coin. So um, when I when I learn about Bitcoin, thanks uh, Nubits, thanks to you, uh, I was like, well, this might be uh, a great thing. Uh, and, and, I, and let me say for anybody who doesn't know, uh, new bits, the, the currency you're talking about that you learned about on the Daily Decrypt, is a crypto which is always worth the value of one U.S. dollar. Okay, please continue. Exactly, exactly. And, um, well, so I was like, well, we can, I can just do the same thing that I was doing with dollars. In this case, I, I will do it with, uh, with new bits. So my first my first experience was in Bitrix, which is a, a an altcoin exchange, and I was I saw that Nubits was listed on, on the Bitrix, uh, um, so I just start buying Nubits back and forth. Actually, that worked. The 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 the, the, the valuation was pretty good. Um, the only big thing was that it was centralized. Uh, so I have to give my money to the exchange, and then I have to do my exchange there. And I was uh, really interested in these decentralized markets and, or decentralized exchanges. And, however, right now at the moment, I only see um, different strategies that I'm trying to pursue later as I learn more about the exchange, how they work. I'm not really pursuing that at the moment. The only alternative I found was uh, Shapeshift. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shapeshift uh, do provide me to have my wallets on my desktop on my mobile uh, and just basically shuffle my coins between newbies and Bitcoin every time I see fit. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only gotcha though is that you really need to pay attention to the valuation that Nubit uh, Shapeshift is giving you for those coins. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a little script that I wrote um, uh, on the side that will just basically tell me how much is Shapeshift giving me versus what Bitrix will give me so I can make a decision where is the best place to do the exchange. Uh, and that usually works for me. Um, I also, I mean, this is just one way that I trade. I really are interested in the Nubits community in the sense that they have um, they have a whole structure that they're going forward with that you can not only um, hedge between the US dollar and, and Bitcoin, but in the future, you will be able to hedge between other currencies. So you will have a Nubis USD 
and you have a, a, a new, maybe it's a CYN for, for yuan, and, and the same thing for other currencies, the euros, the yens, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about this new roadmap that the, that the community is making for new bits, and it's a good alternative for it. Um, so that's basically what, what I've been doing with Nubis at this time. And uh, I think is uh, what I was saying is that there are other markets, uh, such as um, the asset exchange. The NXT asset exchange is an exchange within the protocol. It uh, works similar to the stock exchange. Uh, you can issue, companies can issue assets and they can, people can buy them and trade them. And in this sort of way, they did what, um, what Nubits did but within their own uh, market. So what they did is basically create an NXT USD, which is back to the US dollar, and then you can trade like if it was uh, between NXTs and, and US dollars. Uh, since I'm not a big holder of NXTs, I'm really not doing that, but it's like something I wanna look into it. it also provides me the advantages of giving me better rates, mm -hmm. a lower cost of trade, so those are things that I'm looking into it. Uh, there's also other alternatives like uh, uh, BitShare, I think, is doing something mm -hmm. similar. Uh, yeah. They have some assets you know, on BTC and similar yeah. things. It's interesting that you bring that up, uh, that your main trading pair has been dollars and Bitcoin, because there's a liquidity event coming up, I'm told, by the BitShares community on the 29th, which I believe is this coming Monday. And uh, the people will be focusing on the trading pair between bit USD and bit BTC. So um, that might also be up your alley. And and like NXT, BitShares has a decentral exchange, decentralized exchange built onto their protocol level as well. So you can keep your private keys while trading. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's definitely it's definitely an opportunity to to to, to give this, but the, like you, like I told you, different ways of doing this this, mm -hmm. this trading besides mm -hmm. just doing currently uh, fiat to to crypto. Now you can see that there's this this uh, opportunities are exploding all over the altcoin universe. Not only Nubis, but BitShares, but NXT, and mm -hmm. now you have a different uh, micro universe of opportunities to trade. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, since you found profitability trading in this way, do are you like, do you have any like programs set up online that will like automatically buy or sell for you if a certain price point is reached, or is this just something that you, as the human, like pay attention to during your waking hours and you execute the trades? Well, yes, I, I, I am a, a developer and I. Uh, I actually know of different um, tra trading bots. Trading uh, bots, that right? Are in a, a marketplace for trading bots. Um, I don't remember the the. I think it's Trade Trade View or Trade something. I'm not really sure about the name, but if you Google trading bots marketplace, mm -hmm. you will find it definitely. Uh, however, sometimes it's so. I, I I just want to write it myself. In the sense of like I know what is this bot is getting. A friend of mine also tests some of this. He loses some money on it. So we kind of like okay, until I don't understand how the bot works, I'd rather just build it myself. Can so have you written any trade bots? Yes, 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 I have. Um, okay. I have done some backtrace. So for example, when I test the market, I can be, I can test my strategy. Uh, if I, if the bot would have alerted me or execute a trade on these uh, signals, then I will be able to have make or lost X amount of money on And bags. what, okay. And what <laughs> exchanges do you find that the bots that you've written work on? Well, I did that for my wallet, so it will work directly. I mean, it will execute the trade from my wallet on my desktop. Um, also, it's very. That's why I, I, I haven't really made productize it because it's really done for my setup. So uh, it will connect to my desktop. It will send me alarms natively on my desktop, and it will only work with my setup in the sense that um, Got the it. App, I use KDE on Linux, so it will connect to KDE and, and give me a, a native signal. But once I, I, I 
I, this is also because I'm testing it. Once I, I think this is going to be good, then I can start going into more uh, open markets like blockchain, like Coinbase, what, what people usually use for, for their Bitcoins, and then they will be able to do it either from their wallets or uh, tag it to, uh, to, uh, to an exchange like Bittrex mm -hmm. or, or Kraken. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, just to, from my own clarity, so your bots that you've written, they notify you that a certain price point in a currency has been reached, and then you yourself actually have to push like the buy or the sell button, like the, you, yeah. you are the... That, that's only because I wanted to do it, because I, I can just basically on code just say, go ahead, don't wait for me to make the trade. Uh -huh. and, um, basically like a night mode in case, like, okay, if it really goes up, you really know what to do, you know what I mean? So okay. you, you put up the it'll threshold. Actually, it'll wake you up, like you have it set to like actually be an alarm so that if a price yeah. is hit that you want while you're sleeping, it'll wake you up. Exactly. It will either wake you up or do the trade, like, oh, hey, this signal goes, if it goes through uh, some percentage above, just do the trade, don't wait for me. Just You can beat me and if it keeps going up or keeps going down, mm -hmm. just execute the trade. Mm -hmm. um, have you found that there are any exchanges, I mean, do exchanges like let people set like automatic buy and sell orders that will execute for them while they're sleeping? Yeah. And if so, which ones do that? Exchanges, even like the wallets, like blockchain, uh, their API on blockchain, you can say send all to any other account. The, the thing is that then you will need another kind of a module that will allow, for example, Shapeshift that will take your bitcoins that you send and will change it into some other crypto. Uh, ideally, that's why I'm looking into these uh, asset exchange markets because their API already have all set up and you have all the coins. So you know it's decentralized, but the API is good enough to buy and sell within the same stock, the asset market. So that is why I'm looking into alternatives than going from one crypto to the other and instead going from one asset to the other. Mm -hmm. Well, that is an interesting journey that you have taken from, from hedging Bitcoin with new bits to saying, hey, like this whole bot realm is kind of complex and I'm still trusting these exchanges with my private keys like uh, using BitShares and or NXT I could do what I'm doing now, but I wouldn't have to trust anybody. And and of course, you can do, do NXT and BitShares allow the setting of auto buy and sell orders as well. Yes, yes. I mean, it's a, it's an API. It has the instructions to buy and mm -hmm. and, and or to hold. And you have also a different um, different kind of like wallets, like like they call it uh, daughter wallets or or child wallets. Um, that you can also be like having like if, if you want to trade between one and the other so you don't mix uh, both investments. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, it's, it's this, these uh, APIs are, are really growing still, so it is expected that it will become more and more uh, easy to do all these things or automate, uh, having different interfaces that they will automate the whole process. Mm -hmm. uh, at this time, they're very raw, but I, I think you can start doing it into plugins. For example, the NXT wallet allows you to build plugins that you can connect to your wallet, and those plugins can in, in, in that can be in the future be bots that will do these tradings for you. And uh, and the other thing is that well, we can also look beyond fiat. You can actually uh, apply it to Ethereum to Rubicoin, to other altcoins, and then you can actually do multiple tradings between altcoins in itself, uh, all automated by the bots. Hmm. And um, yes, the, I don't believe there's any decentralized way to keep your private keys and trade uh, new bits right now. Uh, if and when B and C exchange is launched, I believe that should be maybe the first way that like inter-blockchain uh, trades can be made in a decentralized way um, because as you've mentioned, you know, like there's the NXT decentralized exchange, there is the BitShares ex decentralized exchange, um, but it's just NXT related assets being traded here and just BitShares related assets being traded here. 
And so uh, if BNC exchange is what it promises to be, um, then there will be a way in the future to also trade new bits uh, without having to, to give up your private keys. And, and as you had said, um, Nubits also has announced sort of plans for like a new uh, new yuan, new euro, that sort of thing. And so, like these three, you know, these these three areas are are converging on that sort of market, and that's that's very neat. Well, I think that is what I that's really what I wanted to talk to you about, Alex. And I know that um, tell us a bit about Bitcooners. Yes, Bitcooners uh, is is well. It's a community that uh, a local community. Is, uh, I, I'm a very uh, hardcore Linux user, and and I come from the days of the having the goals or the uh, Linux user groups, the logs. I'm sorry. Um, so the Linux user groups are basically local groups where people can come in every other week and talk about different open uh, open free software technologies, and what I did is replicate that into the Bitcoin community and having basically a Bitcoin user group. And what it happens is that newcomers will, 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 will arrive to the to the meetup and we will be able to grant them with like all these kinds of information on how to set up their first account, how to get their mobile wallet. We already have like some kind of like internal documentation about what is the best wallet that we have tried and this is the best that works for iOS or or Android and such, so they have an, a leaner uh, uh, introduction to Bitcoin. They, 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 they get a, an introduction of all the technology. We also do activities like going to colleges and talk about Bitcoins. Go wow. To, uh, to and, the, and, and this is all there in Cancun? Yes, yes. Uh, how often do you all meet up and what kind of turnouts have you had? We do it weekly, and actually tonight we have uh, our, our next uh, meeting. Uh, we do oh. it Thursday nights, and uh, we actually seen the community grow. Um, it, it's been growing steadily, and also because all the information, we cannot just grab all the information of one person. So that's why we kind of like sometimes I do this, so you can do this, and then we meet, and then we exchange what what was yeah. the best way, like trade bots, for example. Yeah. So that way we share what is the best strategy to to go with, and then we just we just jump on it because. So much things going on in, in Bitcoin right. that is, is pretty exciting, yeah. Crowdsourcing the knowledge. Well, that's neat exactly. to hear. <laughs> well, good luck with your Bitcooners meetup this evening, and thanks so much for your time, Alex. You're welcome. Thank yep. You. All right. Talk to you later. Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, a currency which makes multi-signature transactions easy for everybody. You are invited to the upcoming BitShares liquidity event, which is this Monday, February 29th, where traders will focus on the US dollar and Bitcoin denominated trading pair. Information about this event is located in the description, and you can open your own BitShares wallet at openledger.info. And thank you, everybody, who leaves comments and sends me content suggestions, whether it's here on YouTube, in the Daily Decrypt subreddit, or just sending me an email or using the contact form at thedailydecrypt.com. It's all appreciated, and keep them coming. Have a great day. Yeah.